Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm a violist and I'm here today to show you my new Incredible bow. Um, it is not your standard bow. It is, uh, it arches out like a bow and arrow, which is kind of cool. This one is holographic and it's called uh, Aurora Bow Realis. So it's kind of a cute play on words there. I don't know if you can see how holographic it is, but it's quite holographic. I like to call it my magic bow because it looks kind of magical. Um, my other wooden bow broke. Um, I'm guessing it was maybe around the same price range. And I'm not a professional, um, so this is just going to be my primary bow. Um, the other bow that was wooden um, was very, very heavy and clunky, very cumbersome. I couldn't do very much with it. It wasn't very agile. This one is definitely way more agile, um, way lighter. You don't get tired um, while playing. I can play for extended periods of time without... Um, sweating <laughs> to be quite frank um you have to work way less hard it's way easier to use this bow than a heavy um you know two hundred dollar range um bow um so uh the one drawback is the spiccato on the tip uh one of the drawbacks that i found it doesn't really grab that well It's, it's a good bounce, but it just doesn't grab. Um, you can get a you can get a nicer spiccato near the frog, as far as I've found so far. I probably just need to work with it some more and get used to it. Um, the frog is a lot different, so you just have to kind of adjust your your grip. Um, so my fingers go way further down than they do with the other bow. Um, but let me go ahead and play a couple things for you so you can kind of hear the, the sound of it. So you can see that it's um, pretty loud probably you can tell that. Um, one thing is it, it's a little, um, I guess you could say hissy sometimes, like it, if, if it doesn't grab the string all the way, you just have to get used to it, but, um, just put a lot of rosin on to start and it'll help out. Um, this one did need a lot of rosin. It ate it up at first, but it's kind of, uh, good now, I think. I'll play maybe one more thing. So you can see um, there were a little couple of little hisses there. I think that will get worked out as I play with this um, more as well. It's just kind of an adjustment. But if you're going to get a bow and you're in the looking in the $200 price range and you're not using it as a professional, um, I would definitely uh, suggest trying it out. It's a really good bow. Um, I got the three-quarter cello uh because uh this is a i wouldn't get the viola bow even though this is a viola this is an upright or vertical viola i call it the vertical viola um it's also called an alto violin um so it kind of needs a funky uh you know sized bow so i just get the three-quarter cello and it works really well um you gotta have a cello bow if you're playing in the cello type of position so, in my opinion, that's what I would use. Um, anyhow, uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making some more videos soon. All right. See you guys later. And thank you so much for coming by.